This is always my, my trick. <laughs> how is it, the last sentence of the book, how is it that in one moment we might reach out in compassion and the next kill? I've, I've, there's a, like a central conundrum about our humanness of, 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 of both being incredibly angry and murderous and incredibly loving and tender as human beings. Somewhere the nexus of that, of anger and compassion, is what I wanted to explore in this play. But it's, and it's explored through many different stories that all meet around this paradox of, of, of both anger and compassion. And uh, there's a much, much more clever way or simpler way of saying this. Well, one of the things that I always tell people when, when they ask about this is um, Martin, on many occasions, uh, was, because he is a published author, and because he wrote about some stuff that was, you know, in some sense traumatic and in another sense is not, um, he was often called out publicly about having possibly some problem connecting with or expressing his anger. And it, it served as a trigger for this quest for him to figure out what the hell is going on. How is it, is there something wrong with me? Am I, am, should I be expressing something that I'm not? Am I, is there damage here? And it led him on this, this wild journey. Along the way, he discovered or ended up working as a translator for a torture victim. And that unearthed just tons of stuff. And he ends up talking about all, the, all this stuff. And it led to a, a particular revelation that he had in this one dream. If that's tantalizing. And it's funny, too. <laughs> <laughs>